I love the Upper West Side. My kids are desperate for me to move and I'm not going to move. I'm like going to hang on to the nearest lamppost. They're going to have to pry me out of here. Hi, and welcome back to In The Know Fit Check. I'm your host, Amy, and on today's episode, we're checking out the Upper West Side. This iconic neighborhood is known for its world-class museums, theater, and overall historical charm. Also, where you could find a timeless, casual, chic fashion. That's why I decided to wear an outfit that is timeless to me. And now let's go see what the Upper West Side is wearing today. I like your outfit. Thank you so much. Tell me about it. Yeah, so this jacket, I actually, my mom bought it for me from a little boutique in London. These handed corduroy pants are thrifted. I'm wearing some Doc Martin boots. What inspires your style? I'm gonna say my mom. Because I, when I was growing up, I always looked up to her style a lot because like she's so cool. Even though like she's getting older, but like she's always wants to be one of the kids. Yes. And I kind of love that about her. I love your outfit. Tell me about it. Thank you very much. It's just an eclectic mix of seasonal colors, and I like to be warm. The boots were, uh, I picked them up online. These are Old Navy. This is Uniqlo. This is my mother's deceased third husband's hat that I found in her house two weeks ago. Wow. And I thought, I can make that work. And it, it looks great. <laughs> How will you describe your personal style? I have many browns and tans and oranges in my wardrobe because somebody told me a long time ago that that was a good color for me and I believed them. You know, you see those old ladies who somebody told them in high school that they look good in purple and they're wearing like the purple shoes and the purple tights and the purple skirt and the, like, and just like, no, no, no. So I, I'm trying to fight that a little bit. I, I'm 73, but I still try, you're, <laughs> you know. You're doing great. Your outfit is super cool. Tell me about it. Thank you. My shoes, they're Cole Haan. These pants are thrifted, and then this is J. Crew, and then this my grandma got for me. So what's your top priority when you're shopping? I have gotten a lot more into thrifting. You have to have faith that you're gonna find like that that one thing that like you're gonna keep. You know, my partner says, like, do you do you love it or do you not? Because there's only so much closet space, especially in New York, right? <laughs> so it's For like sure. you gotta love it, you know what I mean? So I, I like your fanny pack, it's so cool. What do you think is important in any way? Everything in here is important. Oh. Like my phone, my wallet, my chapstick, my keys, like everything I yeah. need to be accessible. You know, I'm like running to the subway and I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I gotta be in and out, you know, I gotta be quick. So give me details of your outfit. So everything's basically thrifted, but this is from Nine West, this bag. This blazer is from Circle 1901. This shirt is from Aritzia. These thrifted pants are from Levi's, and then the boots are from Zara. So how will you describe your style? Since I thrift a lot, I just go see what I'm vibing with, and then I'll just go home and style it. And I feel like that's the gift of thrifting, that you don't really have a particular style. You can just dress however you want, but you still look good, you know? Tell me about your outfit. Um, okay, the outfit's kind of a random hodgepodge of stuff. I actually got the boots, the pants, and the sweater in Australia. The shirt, I think my mom gave it to me. Is there a piece in your outfit that you can't live without? Um, honestly, the jewelry. The ring I'm wearing is one of my grandma's wedding bands. She <gasps> gave me one, my sister has the other one. And the That's necklace amazing. is the very first piece of jewelry my parents ever gave me. So I always wear them as kind of like symbolic. Oh yeah, that, that, that is your forever. Do you think that the Upper West Side has inspired your style in any way? I mean, this area in particular is, I mean, it's the arts. People are taking bold risks. What do you love about the Upper West Side? Absolutely everything. I like the energy, I like the people, I like the wardrobes I see. I was a ballet dancer. I came when I was 17. I lived up on 74th Street and I've pretty much been in 20 different places. Here. Here. <laughs> Has the Upper West Side influenced your style in any way? I would say it's probably just made me feel a little bit more adventurous with oh, colors amazing. and stuff. Because I just see so many wonderful outfits all over the street here. Is there a fashion trend you see uprising in the Upper West Side? Cool, comfy sweats. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that. So cool, comfy sweats are coming up into the Upper West Side. <laughs> <laughs> And there you have it. We took a closer look into the Upper West Side street fashion and it checked all the marks, like the layering, the accessories, and the flannel jacket. It did not disappoint. Thank you so much for watching In The No Fit Check. I'm your host, Amy, and until next time.